Hey guys, I know some YouTubers like MKBHD every year do a what's in my bag, what do I use on a daily basis video. Well, here's mine. First, let's start with something I use every day, my phone. I use it so much that I'm using it to record this. So I just took my case, which is an Apple case. I don't really recommend it because my friend is the same case and he also has some scuffs. I am kind of an idiot. So I took off, I told like it ripped off. So that's kind of annoying. And then it does feel really good. But my friend like has a little hole right here from like a pencil or something. So I don't really recommend the case. It's also like it's 50 bucks. So. 50 bucks you'd expect maybe a little better quality and then i also have the box here and this box you see new i actually kept all the things that were originally in it other than the cable um because i wanted the cable um i have this little uh the thing thing that was on the screen and then i have the little documentation now this phone is really really good the full review should be out friday or sat sunday and I like I use it all the time. It's definitely a really, really good upgrade over my seven. I posted it about performance, and I posted something about camera. I'm hopefully going to be able to get one out about the screen because the screen is amazing too. But the camera, like you can even see here, like this is a very, very good camera view, and this is only a phone. One thing I don't love is that it still uses lightning. And to get it off the phone, it takes years. But you know, I'd rather film using this than uh, like two megapixel crummy camera that looks terrible. I'll put that up on screen what that would look like. And I think that would just look really bad. So I'm happy with my new phone. It's very good. It's very convenient. And iOS 16 takes advantage of it very well. I have turned off the wallpaper on AOD because I noticed it was sucking some battery life. But overall, battery life's been pretty good. I've pretty much gotten down to like 50% every day. Maybe, probably be around 30 today because I'm going to my friend's house later and I'll probably use my phone. And filming in 4K does, you know, use some, some battery. But that's my phone. Another thing I do need most days is something I need for school. And that is my binder. This is a, I think it's called a better binder. You can get them from Staples. Everything will be linked below. But this thing has held up really well over the past year. I've had like three other ones. They all hold up really, really well. And all the other ones just, just break after a while and it's really annoying. Um, I will blur out anything like my school or something. But I have some, I have like these dividers here also from Staples. Because, yeah, I just buy everything from the same place. And, yeah, it, it really does hold up really well. If you're wondering why I don't have, like, another related arts or anything, I have related arts there. I don't have, like, a language. It's because my Spanish teacher makes us have carry a separate binder for Spanish, which I find kind of dumb. But, yeah, I have this. And then I am not a huge fan of normal pencils. So I usually use, like, mechanical pencils. And I just find them, they're just, I find them more convenient because you just go like that, and you don't have to go over like a sharpener. It doesn't waste a bunch of your time, waste a bunch of space. You have like a highlighter. And it's just really useful, um, and it's really helpful for school. So that's really helpful for school. And another thing that's really helpful is the connection to the internet. So what I have here is my MacBook. This is a late 2013 MacBook Pro 15 inch. I posted a short about that, which I will have over in the corner right now. But one of the really interesting things out here, I'm, I'm on, I only can go up to Mac OS Big Sur, which is kind of upsetting, but I'm buying a new computer soon, so hopefully we can get that fixed. And then this is a, it's a, again, Retina 15-inch Lite 2013, the 2.3 gigahertz quad-core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, and, uh, 128 gigabyte SSD, which does fill up pretty, pretty a lot. Um, I have boot camp running on it, so I can do some Windows things, like a couple apps that are, they're not apps, but
the games that my dad had as a kid that I had on my old computer that was a Windows computer. And I played those a lot and I enjoyed those. So I have that on here through boot camp. And a couple things I really like about the computer is Apple Podcasts. I'm a big podcast person. I mainly listen to three. Apple Insider, which is obviously Apple. Dark Mode, which is also Apple. And actually they post some videos on YouTube, so I'll leave a link up top. And then Waveform, which is the MKBHD podcast. Waveform, the MKBHD podcast. What'd I tell you? So it's just very, it's very like interesting. They're very informative. And I learn a lot about tech from those guys. And then Apple Insider, and it is just, it, it's really interesting. And then a couple of things. I have my 3D server that is not up right now. And Thrive decided to launch itself. And I actually, there is this app, the app called Sketchbook you can get on the iOS store. And I'm pretty sure Android too. So I have it on my school iPad that is really crummy. And I'm not going to show it on this video. But I have, but I found a way to get it for free through a DMG. And you know, it's, it's how I make thumbnails. It's not the best app because there isn't like filters or things. Like I would prefer to use like Adobe Photoshop, but it's free, I found it for free. So I think it's actually a really good deal. So that is my photo editing app. And then I have a couple things over here that I just found funny. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. So most, some, a lot of tech people know about Bing, right? I searched up on Bing, why does no one use Bing? Lack of knowledge. In most countries, people do not use Bing search engines blank 10 reasons why bing is better than google <laughs> just what bing brings up is why bing is better like no you're not no one uses you and then this is also just funny found a 2018 13 inch macbook pro 2.3 gigahertz i5 8 gigs of ram and 256 gigabyte ssd just get an m1 for that price i'm sure you can get a 600 dollars m1 and it's gonna be so much more powerful. Plus you don't have to deal with the butterfly keyboard. Plus you don't have to deal with the touch bar. It, it would just be so much better over, uh, it would just be so much better. And then I don't use a lot of apps other people do. I use iMovie for editing, sadly. I will end up buying Final Cut Pro, I know that. Sketchbook, um, Audacity for recording, again, I it's just free. And then I use Cura for slicing for 3D printers. And I use Tinkercad. Um, YouTube a lot, I like YouTube a lot. And then Roblox, my brother plays Roblox, so I sometimes play that with him. And that's always been fun. And then one hot corner that's really useful is, she puts it to sleep, and that is me, so I will blur that out. And the next thing I wanna talk about is my connection to the server that I need to connect to, which is for my 3D printer. Now I move this over here, I did an unboxing video of this that I will post up in the top right, and it will, it's a really good printer. I have had a couple issues with it, but I am a noob, so I don't know. I've been trying to troubleshoot them. I have a couple ideas. I don't even know what this is. Oh, there's like dried film there. Throw it in there. And then, um, and it's really nice. I have it connected to the server via this USB-C cable, and then I have an SD card. And um, I have, you know, we got the, you got all my tools. I, I printed this tool holder so I can put in all the uh, things to make it. The screws, the nozzle, the wire cutters, the SD card to USB A adapter that I don't need because the computer I currently have and the computer I'm going to end up buying have US does have SD cards and then two extra SD cards in case I lose one of those. And then the screen always looks like a burger phone. I've said that three times, but it's it's touch screen. It's not super sensitive, but it's it's okay. And then I have this. The bed is pretty nice. I gunk on the bed. And then the extruder. I actually got an extruder unclogging tool stuck in it, so I had to bring it downstairs to the oven, preheat the oven to 250 degrees to get it out, and that was really annoying. But. Yeah, it's it's really strong. The the CR touch is pretty nice, even though I've had to do a lot of manually leveling it. And then up here, it's got the filament detector, which is key because I always forget to put filament in it. And then I wonder why it's not printing. So that's amazing. 
and then we have the filament and then if you're wondering what this thing is this is a like five megapixel i think uh logitech webcam that i took out of its little webcam casing taped it on here because before it didn't fit well and then cable managed the cable down through the side and underneath and then out a little court hole in the back like i'm getting my phone's getting caught by the filament but basically that runs underneath and i have the little server and all these controlling it and it's like a little nice setup because you don't see a ton of cables and it looks pretty good and then i have all my filament stacked over there a lot of filament from the holidays and my birthday and then all i have to do at night because it makes a lot of noise and is loud i have to do is just unplug one cable put it on here and then plug it back in in the morning and that's it because i have it all wired up to a power strip so that is really useful and this this isn't one of those printers that you do have to do a lot of manual things like manually fixing it and one of my favorite things to to use for fixing is my iFixit ProTech Toolkit. This thing is amazing. I have fixed so much. I have fixed, like, I have fixed this printer and I have um, taken apart, like, a computer that I'll put up on screen right now. And that was given to me by, by my grandparents because I have just a collection of older computers. I have actually this um, late 2011 13th MacBook Pro that I had in another video. The LCD, um, the LCD cable shorted, so you can't use the LCD on here. And then, um, when did not work? You're wondering, I am expecting to be getting a 14 inch MacBook Pro when they refresh it, but I already have the thing from the holidays and that's presents I never got to give to my friends. Um, so this, this is again, a very, very good, um, very good toolkit does a lot i made a video about it so i will put that up in the top right pretty much anything i made a video about here i will you're good to go you have this little thing that comes out and it will screw into the bottom and you can put these little things on and it's so much easier to use so thank you to him for giving me this I'm wrecking my room as i go along but one thing that i need also that's based for carrying stuff around like little stuff like this is my backpack this is an L.L. Bean, like, deluxe backpack, something that my mom got me for school that I also use for travel and a bunch of other things. I got, I have it in this gray color that I really, really like. It looks a, a lot like the graphite on the iPhone 13 Pros. Um, my color is, like, how I like the color. Um, in here, I don't know. I just have, like, the super expensive calculator that I need for school that's so annoying to carry because it doesn't fit in my binder. Okay, um, I have this. I put my phone and stuff in here so that it doesn't get like, destroyed while I'm at school. Water bottle, stay hydrated. Um, and then in here I have like some pens and stuff. Um, a little like first aid kit. This, this thing that has like a power bank and then I have like an iPhone cable. In case like my phone dies or something bad happens at school. And then I have some snacks in here. And one of the things I really put in here and use a lot with this backpack is my AirPods. Not these. These. These are the AirPods Pro 2. I put a little like uh, band on, I put like a little green thing that I had around on them. And it's pretty nice. They're really useful. I do have earwax on them, so I should I'm not gonna take them out. Oh, I sure can. I just want to show the earwax. But they help. They've they're holding up pretty well. Um, I did have a problem where they weren't connecting and the battery was not charging. So what I would do, what I did, is I unpaired them and repaired them, and somehow that worked. I don't understand, but you know, things are weird that way. But that is a very like useful. They're really useful. I can use them to edit videos. I can use them on the bus. I can use them when biking. I can use them all the time, and they're really useful. Um, I use them. Also, use them when I'm playing with my brother. I usually listen to a podcast in the background, so I can use transparency mode, hear the podcast, and still hear my brother. So that's useful. Although I do use noise cancellation to drown him out sometimes, because that's what everyone does. 
And then the next thing I want to look at is part is the final thing. And it's not really as much super techy, but well, it's my clock. So I have over here, I have like a couple books and stuff covering it. But this is my clock. It is a 9-11. Um, <laughs> it's a peaky like little clock thing, really useful. Um, one thing is I don't like sleeping with light on. So instead of having like a little light for my clock, I just in the middle of the night, if I want light, like that, and it turns, and the little backlight turns on, and it's really useful. Um, it is, a, it has, like, t- alarms, the alarm isn't too annoying, that I need that for school, but that's basically it. That is a lot of what I use on a daily basis. Um, everything will be linked below in the description, if you want to check it out. All links are probably for Amazon, they're not affiliates, um, and obviously none of this stuff is sponsored, but... Thank you for watching. Just go to scroll down while you're looking for, around in that stuff. Smack that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.